Itu dia Punch Card Podcast buat Hang Punch Card Podcast Okay, Assalamualaikum and welcome to our new podcast uh, This podcast called Punch Card Punch Card Podcast Punch Card Podcast, wow Jangan gila cool kan nama macam Punch Card But people don't use Punch Card anymore I think I'm best too Ya, yeah, but people still use it as a term though Macam aku punch card Yang masuk kerja kan hmm. Dia aku ngawet je Aku <laughs> nak punch card ngawet je No, actually punch card Like certain <laughs> stores like They still card. use it Like um, Kedai makan Kedai convenience store They still use punch card They, That's a term lah No, 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 no They, no, they actually, actually use, punch, use card. punch card Oh, no, the real punch card The real, yeah. real punch card I've like seen it a long if time you, Yeah, if you work at Nando's <laughs> Atau Saris So, basically uh, We The pun- the podcast today Macam kita nak discuss more about The working life actually The working life How everyone experience Of working life Everyone The apa? I, I, I don't want to say problem But I want to say The experience yeah. Reality The issues yeah, of issues. Uh, At work lah Macam tu lah Kita cerita sikit yeah. The issues yes. that we face mm-hmm. at work uh. So kita probably I want to ask the Most senior person here Siapa eh? Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Most senior in working life I think you the, you How long have you worked? Daripada tu Introduce your name first okay. Everyone Nama uh, Nama na, My name is <laughs> Okay Okay guys We have here Actually we have four, four panel right now My name is Shahe And I'm uh, why, why am I in local up? <laughs> <laughs> Tengok tu Tak boleh nak introduce this ni <laughs> Okay uh, My name is Shahe I'm the managing director of local lab And we have Ili Or we call Juai in local lab Juai is a creative, di- creative director In uh, local lab And mm. we have Ami The produ- pro- junior producer in local lab and Tina as a senior producer in hey. local lab. So everyone today here from local lab. Wow. L- local lab X Doctor eh, eh, eh. X Doctor TV. X Doctor TV. Ooh, alright. So we're going to discuss about working, but we we okay. Currently we're working in the same place, mm. but everyone have a except Ami. <laughs> everyone have experience in other place working, but Ami have worked with other people as well, right? Yeah. So kita nak start kita. Nak start you someone senior Telling a bit Little bit about your Old experience uh, Because you How long have you been working actually? Uh, okay I um I started working uh, Masa umur 22 Which is in 2006 Oh I haven't so, started degree yet That time So what year is it now? Cuba tolak kan? 17 years Okay Yeah I would say On and off 17 years lah Working experience Kalau dekat Anak dah Play SPM dah tu No Kalau dekat corporate companies I I've already gotten My long service award lah kot What? For 70 years? Wait Normally Long service award How long do you have to wait? Uh, I mean how long do you have to work for? Some companies Give like 10 years They bagi long service award And 15 years They bagi long service award Yeah So Depending on the company lah Depending yeah. on the company So oh. Kalau I Dekat company I tu I dah dapat lah 15 years mm, Which company? <laughs> uh, so okay I I studied accountancy uh, I left my <laughs> my uh, I left Australia uh, Where I did my um, Degree And I started working Straight away Masa tu umur 22 My friends semua tak habis study lagi So I started working as an auditor External auditor You tak ada auditor. ambil one year macam chill dulu Tak boleh Sebab masa tu I, I was a sponsored student So I kena terus serve my bond Oh tak pandai Tak lah tak pandai pun <laughs> So macam terpaksa Scholar, scholar. Uh, Terpaksa kerja So kita orang macam okay, uh, Kerja lah terus But masa tu I remember that I had this Macam apa I rasa macam tak puas hati because I felt like everybody else is still studying. Why am I working? Why am I adulting straight away? I wanted to be a student masa tu. So uh, keep it short. Uh, after how long have you? Okay, been? and I and I worked um in corporate um until 2011. Um, so yeah, about berapa berapa lama tu lah juga. 2012, 2012. 2012 sorry, I uh, and seven, seven years. Yeah, seven, seven years, years, around mm-hmm. seven years, and then I stopped and I now um, run my own business uh, with my husband. Nah, ni ni suami saya sebenarnya. Nama dia Shahi. Okay. Right. So that's that's about it. And I basically left my um, auditing career lah. And jadi um, a business owner you're yang in, in a creative industry. You're not doing auditing in your own company? Nope. I can... Dah tak boleh ingat dah balik. All the numbers semua dah tak ingat dah. That's how people forget things, yeah? Yeah. Oh my God. It's just because mm. I do not like it, simply. <laughs> okay, how about Tina? 
Uh, w- how long have you been working? Okay, like, do we talk about like like so people like can guess your age? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind telling my age. I'm 28. So, so first from first from um, first ever job. Yes, first ever job. Yes, ever okay, job okay. I think my first ever job was at uh, Baskin Robbins, uh, serving serving uh, on the 31st. So it's like one of the like my first job was like a hectic job. Like I had to like stay odd there. Odd job lah. People call it odd job. It's odd job, but it was really really hectic. Like I would only work for one day, but it was like a freaking like 16 hour <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> 16 hour job and you get like a couple hundred 16 bucks. hours yeah. for one day the, the yeah. 31st normally they will restock and then you have to uh, there's special mm. sale on it yeah. Best 16 hours yeah wow. because it's the 31st so 31st that's of the I'm, month and like the worst Baskin Robbins you can ever work for is the one at Taipan because like people Ooh, really yeah. 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 No, no, they got yeah, yeah they got USJ so like people mm. really like love ice cream there and as Especially on the thirty first, memang ramai orang beli lah. So they even give out numbers and stuff like yep, that. Yep. So that was my first experience of like an actual job. And then I worked a couple more part time jobs lah, semua. And then like uh, after study, my first real job, I guess, would mm-hmm. be in 2016. Um, I was in production. Then after uh, after that, I went into advertising. So that mm-hmm. one was also another kind of hectic. And then now fast pace kind of job. Fast pace, like everything needs to be like yesterday, yeah. you know. So much <laughs> of <laughs> yeah, it's like crazy. Like you, you know, you work long hours and stuff. And then and then and then I just figured out like you know actually I miss going. I missed working in production. So now I'm here. Woo, Tina, no <laughs> clap. Okay, yeah. Okay, so how about Ami? Ami is the uh, the youngest. Our is baby. Uh, youngest is here, <laughs> but <laughs> little bit younger is there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ame is a fetus. No, I'm not a fetus. <laughs> so Ame, how many months? Oh no, no, not months. How, how, how long have you working? Um, well, my first job was at Toys R Us. That was right after, I think like three days after SPM finish. Uh, I started part timing at Toys R Us. After that, that only lasted like a week because I had to. I had we, we had a week. Uh, that only lasted a week. It just. Purely based because I had to walk um, from my house to Bangsa Village every day, go back at 9 a.m. And Just because of transportation. Problem. I didn't have transportation, so I had to walk everywhere. So uh, a week was like my max. After that, I mo- <laughs> I switched. Wait, wait, wait. Bukan that shopping complex is right in front of your house? No, no, right? that's that's Bangsa Shopping Centre. Oh, okay, sorry. Bangsa Village is near it's the another, masjid. Yeah, All right. Yeah, so it's, it's like... It's quite a walk. Okay, it's I'm quite sorry. a walk lah. You, okay. can, you can hitchhike though. People like just one way in that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was not advisable. <laughs> so yeah, after that, I switched to working at a um, a photo printing shop. In mm. those days, people still print. I don't know now, do people still cuci gambar? Hipsters. Some place. Hipsters. I mean, yeah, but most <laughs> of the <laughs> hipsters. Hipsters. Yeah, yes. hipsters yeah. still so cuci gambar. Cuci gambar, cuci gambar, point and shoot camera. Buat, camera. Buat, buat passport. Uh. So that's where I started learning um, Photoshop and all the design stuff. And I continued studying after that. But technically, my first job is here. Right here at Local Lab. Uh, mm. Which was nine months ago? Ten months ago? Cool. I told you, still months. Yes. Not even years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ten, ten months I, ago. I, I, I Still like in seventeen infancy. years. No, 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 no. You uh, how many years? Four But years. Uh, three, four years. Three, four years. Three, four years. Okay. Yeah. Three, four years. Okay. And oh, you three, four years, by the way. Hmm. 2012, eh? Uh, you guys yeah. are so young. My, I'm like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I finished late. Given that I finished late, actually. I think I started too early. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, I, I, we had we are the same age. Hmm. Uh, I, but I start working actually at my. 2000, I think 2007, 2007, start working, where I do, actually it's not really working, I do my free, uh, from freelance, but I'm an active odd job workers. Mm-hmm. So, s- after SBM, uh, Freelance is also considered as, as uh, working, is it? But before I start freelance, I'm an odd job, I do uh, odd jobs. Okay. Mm. Be- 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 that you're working, kerja dengan orang. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I do Petronas, I do Domino's, Pizza Petro- Hut. Okay, okay, okay. Specifically, yes, bila so. orang ingat Petronas, orang ingat you kerja dekat no, okay. Twin all Tower. Jobs. When all job, aku jaga pan minyak je lah. <laughs> <laughs> aku jaga pan minyak. So, macam memang literally aku tolong lap tingkap. Eh, jajak. Kita no judgement eh. No judgement. <laughs> 
<laughs> eh, masa tu lepas SPM Okay, that was like yeah, Very yeah. honoured job tau Even now I'm a very honoured People who working like that Yelah, yeah, sebab sekarang Orang drop Petronas punya name It's like yeah. I'm working with wow. Petronas yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like yeah. you but see people who work <laughs> You see people who work At Petronas Like they're constantly Wearing their lanyard Like everywhere Like, yeah. you know Yeah, of course They're proud of it Oh, okay Shai is also A proud uh, Petronas worker uh, kan? uh, Petronas Alumni employee, lah Alumni yeah. Alumni lah yeah. So yeah. Petronas mana Shai? Petronas mana? Petronas Daman Sarajaya okay. Near to uh, uh, Near KDU there So I work there Every Dua kali semester break So that boss is very kind to me Macam bila, Habis Boss uh, Next week duty Boleh masuk kerja Okay so lah uh, So macam So I'm the night shift okay. So every night shift I kerja kat situ So what it was like I think The best experience Because I work I work All my work My colleague is Bangladesh mm. So I have gained boss A lot of lah, experience my, my, actually, Literally my boss, boss lah. lah So because Dia lagi tahu semua benda kan yeah. So <laughs> I learn a lot from them lah. And then after that I upgrade because Upgrade sikit Because I want to eat a lot So <laughs> <laughs> Masa tu macam susah lah makan kan Motivation Motivation dia, motivation dia nak makan, makan So aku pergi kerja kat kedai pizza okay. Dominos, Dominos <laughs> uh. Sebab aku nak makan pizza Pizza mahal time tu Macam sekeping RM25 Macam oh, okay. So aku kerja kedai pizza So you can makan pizza every day. So that's mm-hmm. my motivation uh, So another semester, semester break Aku kerja So but But I start my really I really, really start working Actually after, on my final year Of degree mm-hmm. Where Because of that work I drop out my degree Oh wow uh, Because I think The final On my final year too I'm I know that I'm doing A final Final FYP mm. Final year project But I th- The final year project tu Macam uh, Macam Keep keep me slow okay? So mm-hmm. I want to work That time I do music video I do productions I do I do A lot more than What I can do In that one year So I delay My Um My final year I think a delay Actually Tak drop up lagi I delay for 4 5 years hmm. And then when I get married I decide to Drop ah, it Okay drop <laughs> Dah tak nak Dah tak nak Yang pelik ni Masa <laughs> dia nak kahwin dengan I Dia cakap dengan bapa I Bapa I tanya When are you going to finish your degree Dia tak Insya Allah soon Dia cakap Tengok Your promise to my that, that Arwah tu, father okay Tak decide lagi lah Tentu <laughs> I mean technically You know It's like Finished Yes Basically yeah. Not, not I mean, like done But like I'm done with Yeah it. Like he's finished with he's it finished. I'm, I'm decided So yeah. So after that After I think four, three to four years I've worked with someone And then I start look like mm. So So you've always been In production ah? Always been in production okay. But Even though we are Same age But you have been Working 17 years mm. But I think I'm Around 12 to 13 years Okay Yeah Ooh. I started early <laughs> I started so, early Lama sih mm. To me For someone who already work 17 years Mas macam Dah ada rasa Ah boringnya Apa benda aku nak buat macam Yeah Kan mm-hmm. yeah. I, think, I think like what we what, How we all got here Was through You know like Finding Something that we Really wanted to do Yeah mm-hmm. Right yeah. So Macam so, like Okay I don't know Like how how did you Figure it out Like you know what Okay fine I'm done with this corporate thing Like I want to do my own stuff Okay Uh, I remember um, Like Feeling Very down tau Masa ni I kerja dekat um, Corporate lah And I remember Every single day um, You macam tu lah You punch in You punch out Every single day And I remember one day I rasa macam Do I really want to stay In this cubicle Sampai umur I 40 plus You know Sebab I've, I've seen it around me People working mm. Until mm. they are 50 In their 50s And still in the the same cubicle yep. So I became macam Is this what I want in life And that's when it hit me That you know what I really feel stuck I really tak nak kerja kat sini But I Basically I I would say I'm a purpose I, I, I'm a I'm somebody that um, My purpose is I, I need to know my purpose I need to know Means Am I contributing Does your senior Doesn't give any Inspiring things Is that your senior the, the whole show. environment wasn't inspiring for me lah because mm-hmm. I, it's very for subjective you, yeah. bila kita nak cakap uh, inspiring sometimes mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. feel like macam you lama dalam satu company you naik a certain position that is inspiring yeah. but for me bila I, I dah naik position I dah jadi senior exec I feel like macam okay do I want to be here mm-hmm. ha, and I you, I you start questioning all that and that's when I took a leap of faith kiranya dia mm-hmm. macam like something yang you know what Um, I wanted to find I wanted to start my journey Of finding something that I love yeah. And I would say Even sampai sekarang 
I wouldn't say that I have found it like like macam you know ultimate the definite answer inilah dia yang mm-hmm. I suka but what I can say I'm close to it I think I'm closer to it um, um every single day it's a challenge but yeah I'm just closer to the things I, I feel like I do not feel that that feeling anymore of like being stuck and feeling like macam feeling stuck but do you yeah. like you take the leap of faith means that you you found something that you want it you want to do um definitely found something that I believe I am good at I believe I'm good at uh, um, so one thing finally you have courage to I, I believe I am good at and it benefits others. Itu satu benda yang I I cari tau sebenarnya. Macam okay. When I was working in the corporate world, I think I'm good at it. Tapi I rasa it, it doesn't benefit anyone. So benda tu Ooh. macam penting untuk I that's untuk a, feeling a, feeling that it, it benefits point of view, others. Personal point of view, personal point of view lah. That's, that's why I feel lah. So yeah. I, I I wouldn't say that I am there. Mm-hmm. Um but I'm definitely slowly going towards that lah. Mm. Like you feel like you're on the right track lah at least. Yes. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Tak macam ni lah macam okay um the the question today is like um everybody feels at a certain point um in any career I guess nobody really have everything like macam set as yeah. uh, figure out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know mm. macam mm. tak semua orang rasa macam okay hari ni aku dah macam you know I'm uh, on my hundred percent aku dah fulfill my purpose yeah mm-hmm. oh okay I think macam like for me lah at least like Uh, when I started out like okay, I feel I studied film because I thought that okay my god that's like my passion whatever I want to do artistic things <laughs> do you like things. to watch film? yeah I watch do, I, do I watch, like I watch movies <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I like to watch you know films I want it to be like a storyteller and all this and then my chum and my first job my first real job was also in production hmm. but um I mean, I I had a really great time, but it was at the same time a charm like, um, cause you know you're young and you want to do a lot of things, you want to get a lot of things. So my charm for me like okay, I'm fine. Like I'm doing my passion, but then I'm not earning as much as I mm-hmm. w- need to survive yep. on my own. Cause my parents already stopped like giving me allowance up mm. and then they're like, you're ah, uh, you're like, like you're adult, so you need to pay your own bills, you need to pay for mm. your own car and all mm. that. So my charm like with the. <laughs> I used to no. I stopped getting allowance when I got scholarship during degree. So yeah. up until then, from there, sampai I could do. Then my parents it, ah, they don't give me any more money lah, which is fine. I I yeah. I get it. But like at the same time, which I'm like okay, I think I need something more sus, you know, sustainable. And then, mm. um, so that's when my friend said, okay, masuk lah advertising, you know. So which mm. I'm like advertising is like good money, whatever. So then which I'm like. Okay, okay, let's try. So I got into advertising, and I was pretty good at it. I think I was quite good at my job. Mm. I was there for a year and a half, and then that's when I jump like, figured out like, okay, this is still much. Um, mm-hmm. I'm good at it. Like I'm good mm-hmm. at it. Like mm-hmm. my clients like me, and then like you know, um, uh, I deliver, hamila. But like, there's still something that's like, like not there. And mm-hmm. then that's when I figured out. Okay, I'm I I need to ingat balik. Like why why did I change course, masai degree? Why did I you, you change your course? I changed course. I was in mascom dulu, mm. and then I went into filming. a different major. Yeah, yeah, so I went into filming, and then jam tu lah. And then the I figured out jam okay, actually this is this isn't what I want to do. And then mm. I was starting to feel burnout like really quickly because I was over delivering, and then was just saying yes to everything because I just jam like needed to prove myself. So yeah. macam I think that's the thing that when you're young and you just mm. started working, mm. you just want to. Do everything because you want to tell everyone, "Hey, I can do the job. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. good at it. I'm good at you it." You ask that to, uh, in in a mail later. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. You finish your so much. Um, but this is the thing. Then I figured out, like, okay, actually, Apu is not just much. Um, it's not just about having a good job. It's not just about get having a good salary. Mm-hmm. It's about you know what what fulfills you mm-hmm. at the end of the day. So and then much. Um, I figured out, okay, maybe maybe I maybe it's not this agency. Maybe I go to a different agency. So you left. The so first I left one. the first agency and I went to the second agency and. And it would still like much of ah, but benda aku buat ni, and macam <laughs> like I just tell okay, you know what? Then let's mm-hmm. um let's just try this out, and then like I still tried it, I couldn't get through with it, 
So my friend saw the ad for uh, you guys looking for a producer, and I'm like, okay, I think this is the one lah. Mm-hmm. So is I tried. Is it a female female producer? Yes, ad? yes. Uh, that was that. The it was specific, that ad specific specifically, ad. and then I'm like, ah, quite jam okay. specifically one female. Exactly, because like a lot of producers that I've met were like a lot of guys, and mm. I'm like, okay, so they're looking like for a girl. So mm. I'm like, okay, very like female oriented. Let's mm. try this. Mm. And then Hamila, I'm here, and okay. like so far, I think I'm I'm where yeah I'm on track lah. I'm not there yet. I'm mm. not where I would like to be, where I where my goal is. But mm-hmm. I feel like I'm on the right track. I can see yeah. here where Ili actually pursuing with diff, uh, not uh, the right things. I mean, I mean not the right thing. I mean he's doing accounting. Suddenly he changed, mm. and you are basically you actually you almost there. You're on the right track, but <laughs> you in the, even in the right track, you changing the lane as well. Yeah, <laughs> you're changing the yeah. lane. Yeah, mm. so even you uh, means that. Uh, not even you are. You have even though you have choose the right one, you doesn't mean that you are already doing the right thing. Yeah. Mm. See, yeah, like. orang fikir macam if you study a certain thing, that's mm. what you, you should be. Yeah. Betul, betul. Ah, yeah. uh, uh-huh. so that's why lah, macam uh, macam Ami. What 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 I, I, what, I, I what got, do you think? I got the um, from most of my family members like um when they ask me where 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 are you working now? You're on the right track, kan? Mm. Uh, the same track. Yeah. Well, mm. sort sort of, mm. sort of. Mm. Because uh, I took science um, during high school, but that was not what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my uh, ambition was when I was small was actually to become a chef. Mm-hmm. So I like culinary. Wow. <laughs> I really like I like cooking. I was helping my mom when I was young. I'm an only child, so not to say that I had no choice but to help my mom. But I enjoyed it, uh, cooking and stuff like that. You're but good, good at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm good at it. But solely for the fact that um, my school dulu had. Um, Uh, another aliran for uh, culinary, but because of the the people, pressure. people no people inside the class that like I know some of them and then they like troublemakers skate. So like um, judgmental, judgmental. Like budak jahat kan, budak yang selalu buat hal kan. So uh, I said to myself, nah, probably not gonna go in that class because it's just gonna disturb my time trying to learn. So I just went to science either ways. But actually, it was because of one of uh, two of my best friends. Actually, uh, until now, they dragged me into the photography club. Master, mm. I formed two. Uh, so yeah, from then onwards, baru I started learning about photography, and I started to fell in love with it. Like I started taking pictures of um, ala standard things in school. There's not much things you can do anyways. Hari sukan, mm. perimpunan, mm. and then I moved on to. Um, Helping my mom for her, I'm um, helping my parents for their office events, couple. So mm. they, I take pictures of that, and until I saw the same ad, the female ad, I'm like, should uh, after I finish my degree, I saw the same ad. I'm like, you're looking for a female <laughs> producer. Why would I even apply? So I actually uh, I applied. With the first thing I did was apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't fit the first criteria that you're looking for, which is female. Uh. But I'm just gonna try it out because I also intern here. Yeah. After I, I intern here for three months. After yeah, that I continued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I continued final year for Bonsai. four months, and then continued. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I even part time here. Um, mm. for a short while, I think three months, three months or so. So mm. it's practically it's half half a year there already. So I felt really comfortable, and I felt that I could contribute something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you are another level. means that you are currently how where, where are you you which phase are you because you are doing that you like and at the same time, same time you kau kerja dekat tempat yang benda yang kau suka I, buat I, juga. I, I guess I'm still trying to find. Are you uh, do you feel like you burn you out? Are, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like. I, you're, Mm. I think I don't think so I'm burning out yet but I'm still trying to find yeah. um what is it somehow everyone will feel yeah that. what is it that I uh, I really want to do because mm. in space it means that yeah. you are looking for the right the, lane yeah yeah which lane are you going yeah because I I don't I don't consider myself as pro at anything mm-hmm. I can do a bit of everything but I think what I want to find right now is just something. What can I? What can I master in? What can I really focus myself and be good at? Instead of knowing a bit of everything, sometimes you want something done, but you don't know mm. to the fullest of what you can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm just like what you said. I'm trying to find my lane. Uh, do you feel burnt out? Just yeah. stuck. Stuck. Mm. Within this ten months, have, have you ever have, like, or yeah. have you ever felt? Because yeah. this is like yeah. the the, the yeah. early stage. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess yeah. I, I guess I guess there was a there was a short period of time, but there was a lot of people in the office mm-hmm. that reassured that you know it's uh, I'm still at at my age. There's a lot of things that I'm still learning, and um, either ways, our life is is a work in progress mm-hmm. until until we die, and we just have to keep learning, lah. Mm. But uh, okay. when when do you feel like that burn burn out things because out. you fi- because you jump from one company to another yeah and then you feel like oh doing this oh the same thing yeah I think okay Macha let's just try to like get into like the whole term of like burning out I mm. feel like Macha burning out is like when you just like feel you don't want to do this anymore and mm. you're stuck <laughs> and you just can't you know find the strength to move forward yeah, anymore yeah. so much like for Bangun me pagi pun tak boleh, kan? yeah so okay so for me it was when i was in my first advertising job mm-hmm. when i first got in i i really liked doing what i did mm-hmm. like i was still working with entertainment mm-hmm. i was still um doing somewhat in a way things that i love doing is about creating content you know being a creative person and all that mm-hmm. but um i think it was when you know after a few years like over delivering you know just saying yes to everything because i wanted to prove myself right so mm. i didn't want to seem like i couldn't do anything mm. so that was when i took on like a lot of projects and then macam like, i didn't ask for help or mm. like i just kept thinking like ala orang lain pun lagi sibuk lah macam like, dia orang pun tak ada masa mm. nak tolong kau tau working hard ah, enough mm. pasal macam like, like eh, nanti kalau kau minta kau tanya soalan bodoh nanti macam like, mesti dia orang judge kau tak nak tolong dia macam like, mesti yeah. lagi dia macam like, ah budak ni bodoh tak boleh buat kerja ha mm. semua tak tahu buat and i pula jenis yang macam like, I always want to ask questions because mm. I'm I always want to make sure that I'm doing something right. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I had like I had a couple seniors young was really there to help me from for the first year and then um and then they left after they left macam it was like a new person they macam like okay I dah macam I dah tak tahu dah nak buat apa yeah. okay tak apa I must have learned something from yeah. that last mm-hmm. person so and then I just tried to take everything on on my own. And then I just got tired. And then like, I was handling like a big campaign on myself. Mm. I did a festive campaign. So like we had to berkampung dekat office for like three days, three nights throughout Ramadan. And then mm. like buka dekat office, sahur dekat office. Wow. And then like it was crazy. And then after Is it that, the culture that you you makes you feel stuck? Or no, no. Work? I just want to ask this. Like mm. macam orang selalu rasa macam, you know, you're not working hard enough until... Um, you've you've reached done, that burnout. Ah, uh, you've point. reached that burnout point. It's it's something that is um somehow uh praised mm, that kind mm. of behavior. What yeah. do you think about that? I I I I do agree. I I feel mm. like that's kind of like a like a culture. I don't know if it's like, um, you know when you hear like news of like you know people in Japan like overworking mm-hmm. and in that was like you like <laughs> you know yeah. and like it's it's depressing. But I feel like the working culture here is turning into that. You know, but yeah. I'm like. If you don't work hard enough, you don't put in long hours. You're not a good employee. Mm. You know, which I'm like, oh, kalau you, which I'm, uh, apa, you balik on time, and then people say, oh, half day, half day. Even though you balik on time, yep. but like, people be like, which yeah. I see this day, you apa semua. But like, you know, like, but it just means that you're an efficient worker if you finish on time. Mm-mm. But it's it's a thing. It's a thing when you don't, if you don't beat yourself up over work. It means that you're manja. Yeah. It means that especially in production, yeah. like production lagi lah. If if people don't Tadakasian see you, ha, huh, like especially mm. if you pergi shoot, I, I pun dah jadi like production assistant apa semua kan. If you don't work fast enough, if you don't pick up something like yeah. then and there, if somebody had to tell you to do something, yeah, like you're not doing something right. Like yeah. you're you should like macam ah, aku balik aku tak yah duduk production. The function. Yeah. <laughs> ha, so macam I think benda-benda those kind of attitudes really contribute to burning out. You know, macam yeah. like. Daripada you suka doing something Like you really love what you do And then But end up you macam yeah. ah, dah, dah, I don't want to do this anymore I want to give up And I don't want to yeah. go to work I yeah. can you know purposely take MC or <laughs> EL Stuff like that yeah. And like it's not good lah I But think does, does burning out ni have a level? What do you guys think? Macam mana maksudnya? I think, I, think, I think it does I, I kind of get, I kinda get that Certain people yang manja burning out Macam tu, eh, macam tu pun dah Dah, dah burn, burn out? Burn out Oh hmm. faham faham oh, Macam ada level Setengah yeah. orang macam Wait that's not even there yet I don't know? think I don't think it's a level though I think it's a point 
Mm-hmm. It's a point in mm-hmm. your um, it's That's like re- your maximum point lah. Yeah, it's your maximum, maximum point. point for stress level. Contohnya, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. macam mungkin mm-hmm. I, mungkin I kena kerja seminggu tak balik rumah baru that's my Itulah. burning. Ah, uh, tu baru I punya burning point. Mungkin it's different someone, from each other. It, yeah, yeah. In the, in yeah. individual yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's different. Macam like. I don't know. I think because advertising pun macam was very demanding. Like yeah. it's not yeah. just the long hours. It's the crazy clients. Yeah. It's yang you kena maki dengan kreatif. You kena yeah. maki dengan client. Mm-hmm. And then like it's a lot of input. So yeah. like, macam production pun is the same. Production I think pun. For anybody who nak enter a certain job kena tahu oh, what is the level of burning up. <laughs> yeah. Be- <laughs> tapi macam betul. Macam apa yang Tina cakap tadi kan. Um, mm. Apa the expectation of this industry is kalau you tak work hard that that means you're not working ah the the expectation of the industry which is not a not not a good thing jugaklah for mm-hmm. the industry but i i believe macam kalau uh, for production especially lah kan um, there is a line juga yang you have to macam mana eh, somehow you just have to with every industry lah dia mm. ada benda yang you uh, kena be willing to do mm. um, for for example macam kalau you pergi military there are certain things yeah. discipline yang you kena buat kan so macam it's some it's it's also with production I rasa mm-hmm. macam production ni pun sometimes kita selalu tengok benda tu as I don't know this is the general macam view wow. you mm. nak buat production ni orang rasa macam it's easy this job is easy yeah Ah, uh, this job you you can just have a camera, you can just have um, you know. Uh, everyone can do it. And everyone yeah. can do it. Yeah, everyone can um, do it. Um, this is something yang I rasa macam ada macam apa tu? Stigma. Bukan stigma, uh, misunderstood lah. I rasa. Yeah, it's a perception lah. It's a perception that is quite um, I would say um, masalah lah. A problem mm-hmm. that, uh, bila you fikir macam production is easy mm-hmm. because. Um, orang yang bekerja dalam I mean people that wants to come into production pun feel like macam uh, yeah. it should be easy yeah and I think it's the the perception is that oh kerja content ni best eh best uh, itu macam satu macam uh. funnya kerja korang shooting-shooting yes. semua yes uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I get that a lot I get a lot of uh, my friends macam eh bestnya oh kerja dengan artis betul macam oh korang tak tahu but, but, but there's there's <laughs> a lot of things behind the production that orang tak tahu yang macam macam Tina cakap hmm. tadi kan um, kalau dalam set If somebody have to ask you to do something, it's bad already. Mm. That is actually a discipline in production, I rasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sebab um, coming into, oh, given that you've done all the pre-production right lah kan. Yeah. Coming into a production, production day, day, you should be, you should know what you, you should be doing. Yeah. And anyone doesn't have to tell you already. Right. Sebab you dah ada call sheet, you dah ada storyboard. everything, you dah ada storyboard. Mm-hmm. You know your roles, you know your roles. Dah ada you know your roles. And everybody should know their roles. That's yeah. what people in production mm. punya mm-hmm. mindset is. Yeah. That's why kadang-kadang bila kau tanya soalan bodoh, lepas, kau kena. Lepas ni buat apa? <laughs> lepas ni buat apa? You don't have any call <laughs> yeah, sheet? Yeah. 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 Ah, macam kau kena <laughs> lah kan? Ah, macam, betul lah macam tu. Lepas mm. ni kita buat apa? Kita kat scene mana? Eh? Scene mana? Kalau boleh tengok tak story buat yeah. dekat mana sekarang exactly. ah, so that is the kind of discipline that I feel like newcomers doesn't know that mm. it involves in the production yeah. yang kadang-kadang can make you feel small right? can make you feel like macam oh shit I do not know anything and mm. you end up burning out yeah. I rasa lah yeah. another thing is I think um, production wise or creative creative work in, in, in general is just not really Taken, it's not important. Bukan not to say not important. What's the right don't word? Don't take lah? it seriously. Yeah. yeah, people don't take it seriously. People don't see how important it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because like if you take arts zaman dulu pun oh udah art so okay tak pandai mm-hmm. ni. Yeah. Okay, macam siapa 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 Yeah, yeah no, I think judged. I think like, it's oh, because okay. people tu lah. It's back to the perception lah. Perception yang macam oh kerja arts ni kerja senang, kerja fun. Everybody is like being that artsy, fancy self, mm-hmm. kan? Macam ah, uh, cakap ikunya, ah, macam hmm, cool ke masuk kerja, boleh tahu cool tak cool, yeah. mm-hmm. kan? So macam I think it, it's it's that also lah. Have, have you been asked by your friend yang tak in this line yang macam, kenapa you stress sangat? Kerja you best cool. Ada, ada. Oh ada ada, ada 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 a lot Macam I think it's mostly people Yang tak kerja production Yang yeah. Yelah yang macam selalu Benda-benda macam tu lah Eh bestnya you dapat pergi travel mm. uh, Bestnya you uh, dapat uh, Sana travel ah, sini Okay mm. ni travel sana travel sini Eh bestnya cok-cok passport <laughs> So macam A <laughs> uh, question that I, I, I receive is You tak boring ke buat benda sama everyday um, Okay 
shooting Asyik shooting je Benda sama Asyik repeating No lah oh. I think I think Okay I would I would contradict I would say that That is why I chose this job mm-hmm. Because it's always Even though it's shooting 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 But it's, but it's always different. something it's new It's always something, something new. different Yeah, yeah. It's never the same Tapi to me When I meet someone Someone is not Tak sama industry uh-huh. It's always uh, Macam Dia macam Tenang Because you don't know anything About my industry I can talk Other than Other than about my industry mm-hmm. Yeah mm-hmm. Uh, So macam Bila cakap benda lain Oh finally I've talked about Something else <laughs> Finally I'm not critic- Criticizing any movies Finally oh, aku macam tak tapi kan sometimes uh, when I when I meet up my friends yang bukan in in the same line macam dia ada tanya yang pasal you online. Ah uh, dia tanya macam macam lain. Okay, I can tell, tell, tell. But then when they tell about their line, sometimes I feel macam ya Allah, uh. hidup kau macam ni ke tiap-tiap hari? <laughs> <Yeah>. Macam <laughs> the heck man? No, I, that will make us uh, grateful pula. Saya rasa saya okay. Nasib baik aku buat like, macam ni. How did you how but did you feel like office penuh? I feel like macam there are challenges of having this. I mean, dia Kerja ni I rasa lah After a while I've seen I mean I've been In this uh, job as well And I dah tengok Ramai orang In and out Of this job Kerja ni memang Memang ada Satisfaction dia Memang ada Satisfaction dia Because you You work with People yang Macam famous mm-hmm. You you Your work is Being broadcasted On television yeah. So you rasa You benda, get recognition You get recognition in. The, tapi dia Ada juga Um Sometimes the stress yang kita uh, face every day uh, will make us blinded of that tau. Kita dah yeah. tak nampak dah. Betul. Benda tu dah. So macam it's just like any other work. I rasa it is. It is. It is you definitely know. macam like you know it's um like so I, I will hear about working on it. Yeah. Exactly. Like like you hear about like other people macam like hmm. um macam my brother lah for hmm. instance and his like office kadang dia kata macam ah tu lah abang buat ni 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 pasu orang lain dapat credit so macam like it's just, it, it goes the same juga yeah. sometimes you're working with like other people macam like especially as a producer mm-hmm. tak ada siapa akan tahu siapa producer yeah. betul nobody will will know who no, produce what 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 people akan tahu the actors people akan hmm. tahu the director orang tak tanya hmm. siapa produce orang tak tanya siapa produce <laughs> orang, orang tak tanya siapa edit hmm. ah Eh, Eddie ada. ada People ada. still ada. People, People ada. ada People still talk penau, about editors about yeah. People talk about um, Music Cameraman. scorer ha, DP uh, Tapi producer tak ada siapa Yes <laughs> Aku lah yang buat kerja ha, Macam padahal kita orang yang macam You know Kehulung hilang dengan paperwork bagai Nak yeah. kira bajet Dia, all dia all macam orang tanya lagi Apa kerja producer sebenarnya uh, Actually ah, I got that like, Exactly hmm, yes Apa yeah. kerja producer ha. sebenarnya Uh, macam my dad always ask that Because my dad doesn't understand Like Okay for the longest time During my whole degree Because I punya degree title tu uh, Is uh, screen technology Okay Bunyi macam canggih oh kan yo. Macam canggih Bapak I ingat I kerja engineering Wow <laughs> We should call ourselves that lah For the longest that, time uh, He was like Kakak you are buat apa screen, 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 screen technology We are all screen scientists ah, oh, Eh scientists eh, Scientists eh, scientist eh, jangan eh. lah <laughs> Scientists tak boleh pakai oh, Dah dah ya, ya. Trademark Trademark okay. Okay. Kita lab Sorry. Kita lab juga Kita lab Tapi sama lab Alu tak dapat Alu tak dapat Okay It's fine lo. I mean okay like Going back to the whole Um Burning out topic lah I mm. think I think One thing that also Contributes is like Habits mm. Okay so When I talk about habits I think macam We were mentioning about Putting in like Long hours And like You know um, Contributing a little bit more I think macam I do agree with what Juai says That um, There are certain times When Okay I When we're working on a project Or something kan Macam mm. Okay tak apa It's fine that we put in a, a couple more hours Just to get the job done To put mm. out good work It's fine But it's not fine When it becomes a habit Yeah It's not fine when Every single job We have to put in Extra hours yeah. Every single job We have to like Macam deliver On a fast pace Apa yeah. semua yep. So like Bad habits macam tu Yang can really contribute To like Burning out as well Like yeah. you From like You suka your job And mm-hmm. then you get tired of it uh, mm-hmm. Because yeah. Every project Macam kita buat Based on project Every project should be Should have like Macam improvement mm. Macam kalau macam Fast pace atau kelang kabut The f- first project tu Second one Lepas kita buat It should be more Teratur Teratur Tersusun right. sikit So that macam That is will change the habit The way you mm. handle that project mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that will give more Different enough challenge Right yeah. Ataupun Macam it's either Dia lebih Lebih Thrill Ataupun dia lebih macam Chill sikit Chill pun right. in a better way It's not mm. chill Macam kerja senang kan No apa? I mean like You you should have ample time lah yeah. at, at least to you, like you Be ta, able ta, to put uh, out quality work Yeah mm. You tak stress when There's no Heavy burden mm. You can do And at the same time Think Not just do 
Hmm. You have that that that. Yep. I think it's not like macam tak ada stress lah. I think it's more about like macam you know like being able to manage that stress. I think when when you have a lot of things yang you tak sempat you tak menantangan to do you can't manage your stress mm-hmm. properly, and then you end up macam like serabut surang surang. And then that's another thing when you don't ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. I nak tanya satu soalan ni macam soalan for everyone. Is the burning out punya apa ni macam does it macam dia dah changing macam millennial punya level bring out cepat sangat because mm. we we saw in our timeline right kan macam oh dah stress pun dah kerja kat sini stress mm. macam and then we saw like macam ada yang kakak-kakak kakak-kakak kita yang kerja macam right. lain pula different of dia mm. punya burning out punya macam lain do you see that this burning out become lagi kecil Bukan lagi kecil Lagi macam Lagi cepat lah Lagi cepat Lagi, lagi cepat, cepat orang lagi rasa burn out Benda simple Simple pun you dah macam yeah. Stress dengan cepat sangat kan I would say Macam Kalau you nak cakap pasal um, Generation Again Generation ni um, Now Nowadays Like um, For younger generations um, It is due to the fact That they needed Uh, macam instant um, acknowledgements. Mm, mm. They need to, they need to see their work to be recognized cepat. Sebab everything comes very quick to them kan. So macam if they want to be liked, they can just post an Instagram. Yeah. They can be liked. If they want to be uh, macam a YouTuber, they can just put a, a video and they are a YouTuber already. Mm-hmm. So tapi dalam dalam kerja dalam dalam bekerja punya environment. Um, you just have to go through the process like anyone else. Yeah. So benda tu yang membuatkan sometimes I feel lah ni I feel lah young people feel very discouraged when they are not given the the gold star that they want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, when they do the job, Mm-mm. they are very good. They Mm-mm. they 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 can be really good at their job. It's just that it's not the culture of working culture to to praise you every time mm. you buat something good. Like when you are in a um, in university or mm-hmm. you were in a school so benda tu yang i rasa macam if you want to say generation probably there is a little bit of that different tapi sebenarnya mm, um, generation sebelum tu pun sama juga sama juga i they, think it goes with experience yeah they, uh, anybody pada mulanya will their point will be low yeah. but Lama-lama lama-lama, lama-lama, dia, lama-lama dia punya they point can akan naik-naik feel naik, that yeah. Dia they lebih can, matang Lebih matang yeah. lah. no, 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 They can feel Macam even even somebody that has been in the company for quite a while For example lah kan they, they, Bila dia dah tak tahan They will become Macam you cakap Macam burnout mm-hmm. Juga yeah. uh, So um, But itulah macam If you want to say that um, Nowadays lagi lagi ramai uh, Orang rasa burn out Awal-awal uh, Yes I would say that lagi 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 laju sikit dia yeah. punya benak tu. What what I would say to that is I think um a lot of youngsters especially yang maybe had not had like a first job yang macam did like part time job ke lepas SPM macam tu. Mm. You know maybe sometimes they might not have like uh they might not know what to expect. Mm. Mm. When they get into like a real job like a day job yang mm. you know uh, uh, you know salary monthly salary punya job. Yeah. They might not be as prepared mm-hmm. to you know face what's what's there macam you kadang-kadang there are a lot macam i when i actually balik pada i pula no i mean like it's like macam okay bila you could just sometimes like you know what tina hold on let's focus like you wouldn't know like sometimes you must so you get like supervisors yang macam ah nah kau buat semua benda Yeah. Mm. You know like Because you mean whole life You sekolah tau You sekolah You yeah. ada cikgu You ada yeah, apa pun semua Ada, ni, ni, ada ni, orang nak bagi talk je Ada orang bagi pentangan Yes ada ah, orang Betul lah Betul ni you, betul, yeah, betul. Yeah, you, you get into this, a real job, job. Uh, Kalau ha. salah tak Kalau salah Tak apa uh, Bukan kira Kalau salah apa Kalau salah pun It's not my fault hmm. Orang ni suruh hmm. Uh, hmm. Or hmm. ataupun macam like Yelah I macam I just buat what I've been taught That's hmm. all That's like macam Benda yang macam tu So like I think it's really good For you to start Have like Like little small odd jobs To prepare what it's like To be in a working place yeah. You know Have that working attitude Before you have your real first job Betul. So I, I think benda tu yang I, Orang I, cepat I, I, pernah ada, kan, huh? I tak pernah work any odd jobs mm-hmm. And I can see that Macam masa the first time I kerja I felt like I was macam You know Somebody yang tak tahu apa-apa Sebab hmm. I memang rasa macam You know You felt that You felt like macam, macam oh, I'm worthless kerja. I'm worthless Is this work? Is this mm. working life? Mm-mm. And everybody macam Prepared me to say that Macam you know what You just kena tahan Working life is like this Yeah. Mm. You just have ta- to tahan So uh, 
macam does that does that um help you ami bila orang yeah, cakap yeah. is this is just working life this is just being an adult just 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 um swallow it and go on at, at as beginning. a youngster yeah. how do you feel about yeah. it yeah how do you feel <laughs> at the beginning uh, at the beginning too it's um the annoying sikit lah bila you hear that it's really really annoying because i remember the the first few especially during masa intern mm. masa intern masa part time Uh, I didn't understand what I was doing. Mm. Um, I didn't understand why it has to be done. And um, the three words Along repeatedly said to me. Who is Along? Uh, Along is the technical <laughs> producer in Local Lab. <laughs> the three words that he kept saying to me almost every day. Welcome to production. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was so annoying. Like that, that is the introduction. The introduction. Yeah, and there's it, so many introductions. Can so when it, we going to the new chapter? <laughs> so at a point where I'm saying, I I said that to myself. Okay, Get this up, is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after a while, even if stress comes and it's a lot of work, um, that words just go into my head. Like this is the norm of um, what people around me f- go through mm-hmm. and. If I can't go through it, I shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. And if I want to be here, then I just have to okay. tebak muka and yep. rempuh. That's why I, I read somewhere about that. Like, um, um, to be, I think I I read some. It, the the book was, apa tu eh? Yang yang the the art of not giving, giving a, a, a f. Can <laughs> so much. Um, but they they say something about that about willingness to go through some things mm-hmm. to get what you want. Yes. Mm-hmm. So much. Um, much. A lot of people tak nak to go through. Sebenarnya. Yes. Much. Um, mm. to accept that this is something that you yes. just have to go through is difficult. Yes. Betul lah. Sebab mm. kita selalu much. Um, selalu rasa much. Um, things should go much. Um, I mean, should just be like a easy. yellow brick road. Mm. Yeah, you know? easy. For it should us. be how we imagine. How we imagine it. it. Hopping like. So, bila <laughs> something require us to do, <laughs> macam ialah macam dia orang cakap in production, this is something that you have to go through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, macam Ami punya tu is right. Where you question back yourself, macam do you do you want to be here? If you want to be here, this is what you have to go through. Mm-hmm. So that decision is something that you have have to do. Macam macam how I went through when I started doing this business. Macam, yeah lah. Ini I go back to my experience again. Do I want knowing Ily more in this podcast? No. Okay. <laughs> do, do you want? Not, I mean, do you want to be worried about whether your bank account have money at the end of the month or not? Ah, uh, yes. You go into this. Are you mm-hmm. willing to do that? Mm. And I, I mula-mula memang seriously depressed lah. Setiap bulan I nangis. Mm-mm. Macam I tak ada duit dalam account. Yeah. I tak ada duit nak, nak makan benda-benda yang I nak makan. Um, up makan. to a point. Oh my god. Uh, paling sedih Ayah dengan Syahir Kita orang pernah oh, Korek okay, Kita okay. orang punya <laughs> Kita orang pernah Korek Kita orang punya Apa duit um, over, uh, Macam No overseas account uh, Macam kita orang pergi overseas kan uh-huh. Shooting apa semua So kita ambil balik All those USD Kita tukar duit Sebab kita Just to yeah. To be able to eat out mm-hmm. uh, So benda macam tu Yang macam you kena Kena fikir balik Macam Are you willing to Go leave through all that hard That yeah. life yes. In order to do this So th- that is a business owner punya perspective. Are you willing to not be to to not get gaji mm-hmm. and and biarkan orang lain dapat gaji dulu? Yeah. Uh, Tapi this is, this is a spoiler alert here. When when bila dah tahu all that hard work macam Amir dah tahu macam Alun selalu bagi tahu susah ni. Tapi macam oh kena go through it and then you know you tell sorry macam when you know all these things mm-hmm. spoiler alert everything will go fine. <laughs> if you're willing Spoiler to go it, eh? I mean yeah, if sebab, you're willing sebab, to go through it yes, lah yeah. if you're willing to go through it and you tahu semua yang you're willing to go through everything will go fine macam bila datang benda-benda yang yang, yang susah sikit datang lepas tu rasa macam oh not there yet yeah. hmm, something else mm. that, that, bring it on yeah because like not, nothing nothing good comes like easy you know not the all time. the time yeah, like the like macam if you're that. lucky it does but if it doesn't if you want it If you want it bad enough Like you go through it lah I yeah. think macam eh, eh, I, What helps with like When you come to a point That you're burning out It really helps to go mm. back To like your purpose too And like What is it that you were Trying to achieve in the first place mm. Is it that macam You have to think about When you reach that burning point too You need to think about Okay so I'm at this burning point What is it that I wanted to achieve sebenarnya? Yeah. Am I achieving it? Am I on the right path to achieve it? Mm-hmm. So those are the the questions that I I know I would ask myself if if I reach that point. So macam mm. just so that I can sedapkan hati air balik and then macam pujuk diri. Okay, mm. okay tak apa tak apa kita buat je kita buat je dulu. <laughs> you know and and I think I feel like that's a good attitude to have anywhere because mm. you don't want to give up. 
Mm-mm. Anything pun you don't want to give up You just want to go Not there. giving up okay. yeah. Tapi on the fun That's side That's nice Not giving up Yes yeah. Yes exactly But on the fun side kan <laughs> I mean I mean okay Kita cakap not giving up tu Macam It's it's like a t-shirt Yang kita boleh pakai yeah. Don't give up you know. Yeah. Mm. But When you are in that position um, Yang you rasa uninspired mm. mm-hmm. You rasa macam uh, Balik-balik aku buat benda ni Demotivate yeah. kan Balik-balik Ini aku juga yang kena jalankan <laughs> kan? Macam tu kan Fikirnya tu kan Aku juga yang kena buat projek ni mm-hmm. Um There are We understand juga that We need to understand juga There are certain things Yang macam It's not as easy To get out of all. Dia bukan yeah. macam Something yeah, A mindset You yeah. boleh macam mm. Oh hari tu aku boleh de- or Dengar orang cakap Jangan give up Tak give up lah, Macam tu eh. So no, it, it takes a lot of Convincing yeah. yourself yeah. You know when, So when okay uh, if, if you guys are in This is my question If you guys are mm. in That situation What really helps you You talking to yourself Or other people talking to you Okay First of all Um, I will try to talk to others I try to reach out mm-hmm. Bila I rasa macam burn out Especially okay Dengan kerja kita Dengan kerja I especially I have to always come up with ideas And and to be all, to always inspire Okay my my job right now Orang selalu tanya Kerja aku apa sebenarnya kan <laughs> <laughs> And some people are still wondering what I do And uh, my, my job right now is basically Um Uh, thinking of the creative direction of the uh, DOPS and Nokalab mm-hmm. basically. So, apa benda yang DOPS akan buat in the future, apa benda tu semua tu, I will think about what, you know. And sometimes it is hard because um, I do admit that I get burnt out. I rasa macam um, I've been doing that, I I need to because we don't really have like a reference yeah. if I'm the yeah. I need to think and I need to like macam okay what do we do what do we do next how do we still progress so benda tu macam kadang-kadang to be honest memang you rasa macam very lonely you rasa alone and what I would normally do is that's why I, I would rather I would always panggil everybody let's brainstorm that's what I normally do and um, and taking a break that's one another thing that I do I take a break from everybody because uh, I consider myself as an introvert or dia dia macam I work better when I'm alone. Um I get the information and the 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 macam yalah like the help of everyone else but in order for me to macam summarize, it. summarize and macam betul-betul macam you know um, put things in position uh, put things in perspective apa benda semua I need to be alone. Mm-hmm. So I will take a break. Um, and I think that is important to you know bring that bring it into the secret room um, process it uh, macam I I I, I kadang-kadang I, kadang-kadang bila keluar kuih masuk, masuk gua <laughs> masuk gua ah, <laughs> macam kadang-kadang <laughs> you just keluar kuih kan I tak datang <laughs> office kan okay, nampak nak justify korang uh-huh. I tak datang office that's why I needed my own time that's why I needed my own time to process everything and macam you know okay okay this is what we do after this um, I think it is important uh, for everyone to know that um tak payah, tak payah give up Mm-mm. It doesn't mean that you're giving up But you're just taking a break yeah. Itu itu satu benda yang I rasa Tak semua orang Rasa dia orang boleh buat mm. Faham tak? Yeah, yeah, semua yeah. orang ah. rasa macam Kena move move forward Tapi Taking a break tu You need to know your own way How to take a break mm. To get to know yourself First mm. of all Macam get to know what What stimulates you macam kalau okay kalau kita pergi around the you what do you think are you, do you think you you bet you work better with a lot of people atau you work better with yourself Ooh, okay mm. how many people Ooh. is a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you you pick it balik the time where you are most stimulated creatively lah again you you pick it balik bila sebenarnya what in what kind of situation yang you rasa macam okay I excel I I with people same I'm with people with people inspires me even mm. though people not doing anything but they just they being macam around being people. around people yeah. inspires me yeah. mm-hmm. uh, especially people's characters inspires me a lot mm-hmm. so that's why kalau seorang seorang tu I don't see people macam alamak I need to see cat the character of cats oh okay <laughs> so yeah. macam that that makes me working yeah I yeah. prefer around around people as well it's just um, you know sometimes you feel that Um, not to say you need reassurance But mm. um, Or validation But Having A conversation And Really You judge back yourself When mm. you tell people a story Because to me That's how I always Justify whether my work is good or not Is when I tell someone about it And And then I, I hear back 
uh, Am I saying this correctly Or mm. is, Does this even Orang make sense Orang macam Ah macam Sekejap <laughs> what, what, what did I, I just told you again if, if I feel that Whatever I tell mm. people Doesn't make sense Then there's something right. wrong With my work there uh-huh. And that's why I feel that I've worked better If there are Not say a large group But a, a, a small group You nak tengok Apa instant response Yeah Hmm Like I I prefer working in a team lah. I think in most of my work as a uh, as a producer, especially I I always like to have someone to just like you know bounce. be there to bounce things around. Um, but creatively, I'm still like trying to much um be brave enough to share with people because I always rather much I'm like okay I have this idea. Tapi and then I dengar orang lain punya. No and then I I before I dengar anyone else or before I even pitch my idea, I dah macam reject this nih. Ah bodoh lah ini kau dah lah kau dah diam diam. You know macam. Eh sometimes you you just throw je. Exactly. So much sometimes you macam you know like but I'm trying to do that more lah. But you know why? Because you throw sometimes okay probably you see it's stupid and really keluar pun is still stupid. Yeah. So bila keluar stupid when but sometimes someone like me, I benefit macam that's stupid. They should do the other way. Exactly. Like even if it's wrong, benefit to me to macam to make it more mm-hmm. more much and lebih lebih uh, lebih 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 better kan uh, yeah. mm. but like going back to Amir punya question like coping to i think it's always better to find someone to talk to about it yeah. like it's it's not always kadang macam we're not really always looking for solutions Mm-mm. we just need someone to hear hear us out yeah. and i think it's very important to like macam be open enough to say hey i have a problem yeah you know right. because someone might have a solution for you yeah. or like macam at least you get it off your chest and then you can think better yes. yeah you can find a better solution yeah mm-hmm. you can work through it and sometimes people think that when when we rant we're not happy yeah oh yeah yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. I, I, i don't i don't get that no, part you know i sometimes, don't agree with that yeah. No, yeah no because a lot of people that i i jump um complain or like oh i'm just i'm just ranting out like just to get it off my chest mm. but people are, are you then why are you still doing it uh, yeah okay. i think it's so finding it's the right person it's not that i hate person. my job <laughs> yeah <just> that <laughs> then again it goes back to like finding the right person to talk to yeah. you know yeah. macam yeah. like if you have like a like a uh macam if you have a superior that you you're comfortable to talk to hmm. or like you balik rumah you cerita kat your mother or you like you know you cerita to your uh, whatever hmm. kan huh? so macam but, but, but i think you need to kahwin ni i think You, you need to be <laughs> But I think we we should also be careful. But like, okay, I mm. am guilty of doing that because right. you know when I listen to somebody that rants about the same thing mm. all over, like, many times, so much, then I rather that is some a point that you should reevaluate your position. Right. If I'm tak, kadang-kadang uh-huh. orang oh, okay, orang, I you, I you orang yang ranting dia dia rasa macam I'm still willing to go through it, but I, I just, just wanna je. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tapi bila dia dah macam banyak kali, bila you buat the same thing, bila you macam cerita but the same thing mm. sampai kita rasa macam you know what you are good. Why 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 you still there? Right. Why? Faham tak? Macam, move on lah. Kenapa you are still there? Mm. Ah, macam tu. I pernah ask this question lah about somebody who is close to me juga. Macam you are good. Um, but you've been telling me this thing, and you, what are you waiting for mm-hmm. there? Why, right, why, right. why, what, are you, what right do you moment. want? So, much like, benda tu kadang-kadang. Okay, when you, um, when you, much like, find yourself, uh, trying to, trying to, much like, uh, when you find yourself complaining about the same things, that could be a red flag that you right. need to reevaluate your position. Much like, okay, yeah, right, right, right. Okay, let's make a, de- a decision here. Let's be an adult and take charge of my career. Right. You know. So yeah, that's what I feel lah. Uh, okay. Um, okay. That's a. Uh, I think that's. Uh, we already around one hour. One hour. Yeah. Wow. wow. So basically, okay. this is uh, only one. The first topic, which is the topic <laughs> about just, just, burning just, just, out. Burning let's, out. Let's just go around one uh, circle and yeah. give like a solution lah. Uh, a solution or conclusion a suggestion lah. Conclusion. Uh, conclusion. Yeah. Conclusion. Uh, okay. Do what? Let's start. Okay. For me, I think when you feel like burn out and when you feel like burn out, uh, uh. In your workplace You rasa macam Dah uninspired I would recommend To take a break I I feel like That is really Something yang macam Take a break ni macam mana Can you be specific What kind of You can okay, You know what If you even talk to your boss That you need a break I'm sure A boss yang sensible enough Will understand uh, Itu je I rasa macam You never know Because if you're really good At your what you're doing And you just need it You just need a break Does it apply In relationship as well Um, that's why you ada benda ni Relationship tak boleh lah kan Okay Just asking <laughs> So I feel like macam um, Just just try and 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 you know This break, break. <laughs> Jai, Sabar This break is not To macam uh, Slack off Atau Right yeah. buat, Just to, to reevaluate stuff Iron up benda-benda uh, You nak tahu apa benda yang you nak 
Recharge is, Yeah recharge And go back to yourself Exactly mm-hmm. That's, That's what I feel like Macam Powerful no Yang penting lah Okay Yeah But Amir um, I think My point of view If you If you start Feeling burning out Definitely find Someone that you're Comfortable with To talk to Um Preferably someone who is, it, is in the same. Is it called Twitter or no? No, no, no. <laughs> That's just ranting out. That's All just right, ranting okay. out. Personally, face to face, talk to someone that can um, bounce, can bounce, can can relate mm-hmm. to your problem. So someone in the same industry or the same line, uh, and you know, just let it out, and maybe that person also can give his or her opinion that could possibly make you feel better or. At the same time, you can give your opinion if his or, his or her problem mm-hmm. is similar to yours as well. Exactly. So, to share to for everyone to know that they are put it in, perspe- put it in perspective. Yes, yes, and also to make you feel that sometimes you're not alone. Yeah, you, other people are also facing the same problem. Just that maybe they are also um, exactly. uncomfortable to talk to, and with you having that um, conversation, it mm-hmm. could help. Mm-hmm. It could help. You know. Okay, so much um yeah, like I said lah, burning out for me is like when you lose your passion already, and, and it's always happening to something that you love doing, and then you just can't do it anymore. Mm, it I think it's it's always important to just take a breather and then really think about like what what got you here in the first place, and why why did you find it in your heart to do this in the first place? Mm-hmm. So finding your your intentions, putting your intentions in the right place, really really helps to overcome this burning out and you kind of it makes you a little bit more patient lah to go mm-hmm. through whatever stresses that you're going through and it's also important to find someone who can talk about it um, you know can relate to your problems so yeah I think just really go back to your intentions lah go back to yep. your purpose mm. to me always thinking about you have an option mm-hmm. right seeing that macam you're not if you're stuck where you're stuck you have an option you said you want to do it or you don't want to do it So all these things that you have an option, you are your own decision. Yeah, the even worst position to be in is to feel stuck. To feel stuck, right. exactly. So you have an option. So even though your boss being being your being salary and your boss are helping you to pay the bills, but all these things that risky is everywhere, mm. and you have an option to choose. Yeah. So to me, when you are bringing out thing that I have an option, okay, I takkan lah, I'm stuck. I tak ada tak option. I kumpul lebih. So I always think that I have an option. Uh, I'm using Apple so so long, but I want to change to Samsung. Yeah, I'm changing to Samsung. Yes, yeah. I, I'm not just stuck on Apple. This podcast is not <laughs> sponsored by Samsung, <laughs> <laughs> but that is a small thing that I do. I'm stuck with the Apple. Oh, I don't want to use Apple anymore. I'm using Samsung because I have option. <laughs> so basically, this is this, okay. Everyone is sharing about the uh, burning out now. I hope everyone will take uh, will. Dapat benefits from yeah our la. podcast here. If you if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling uninspired, I hope this will a little bit help you lah. Go get you through mm. it. Shine yeah. a little you, light. You, you, you guys not alone. Everyone can do having, it. <laughs> <laughs> everyone facing it, and you guys. Yeah, please know that you're not alone in this. Everybody is facing the same thing. Yeah. So Punch Cut Podcast will continue with a lot more topics, and we we'll like have more guesses. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes. And <laughs> so yeah. selagi kita tak dapat guess, mungkin Pak Wan ni je lah. Mungkin Pak Wan ni. Kalau ada guess, kita will invite from other. <laughs> mungkin satu lagi episode lagi sekali lah. So kita akan invite more people from the industry, probably in the uh, apa bigger in bigger to yeah. talk about uh, from different talk, industries yes mm. in from different industries to talk m- uh, more about the working life and the wo- the real real things so inshallah thank you so much for tuning in on uh, punch cut podcast and hope to see for you t- t- hope to hear hope to see you yeah. hear you and <laughs> uh, for the next podcast inshallah assalamualaikum assalamualaikum bye waalaikumsalam punch cut podcast mm.